Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with this mod, Road 56. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, right now. France is back and exists once again, but Germany has eaten up Austria-Hungary, or maybe not Austria-Hungary, but Austria, and is now 1937, November 6th. Now, we're poised to attack the Germans, which is what we're going to do. It would be wise for us to attack the UK, because I'm sure their army... Actually, how big is their army? It could be big. It could be small. But the thing that's stopping me is that thing called a navy. And our navy, well, while it did quite well yesterday, it is nowhere near capable of blowing up or challenging the might of the British Navy. So, <clears throat> my plan is, take out Germany, and then get, basically to get to Poland to capitulate both so we can be at peace. Because I could use a little bit more stability, but really, I want Germany under us so that we can get Austria, first of all, because we need that help form the, uh, or realize Roman ambitions, as well as all of, pretty much the Balkans and Turkey and such as like that. Take out the Germans, <clears throat> take out the Poles, and then use these two nations, specifically Poland and Germany, as meat shields. That is why I want to use their manpower. Eventually we'll have to grind up against the Soviets. That's fine with me. I don't really care. And I'm using all, a lot of other nations' manpower as well. But Spain, my gosh. You thought Europe looked bad once we did this, but this looks god-awful. Anyways, what else is new with Spain? I did get some divisions from, or we're trying to make some divisions from, the Empire of Greater Vietnam. And they're looking okay, but I think it's time for us to go to war and have a good time. We've got a couple comments to go through as well, but... Oh, I removed their national spirit, huh? They probably didn't like that. And actually, let's see if we can drain their strength, because this isn't too good. And over here in the Magino, oh, this is a weird timeline where the Polish Republic joins the Axis. The very, very weird timeline. The German Reich joined them in? Alright then. Alright, whatever. Alright, whatever. You know what? I'm totally okay with them attacking us like crazy. So, let's take a look. So, it's us, the French state, Italian East Africa, Empire of Greater Vietnam, versus the German Reich, Danzig, and the Polish Republic. Actually, uh, ah, so all we have to do is capitulate Berlin, and then it'll be all over. There goes the Spanish Republic as well. Yeah, I would have liked to take out the British Empire, the British Empire, you know, the UK and such, but I just, that navy, like, we could maybe land paratroopers on them, but our paratroopers are, what, like, 8 combat width? They're just not that strong. Yeah, they're 10 combat width, which is not bad, but even trying to supply them would be a giant issue. Not gonna lie, that'd be a giant issue. And this way, we can just help, like, kind of drain them on their supplies and resources, even though... Maybe it's not a good idea to go to war when you're lacking 30,000 guns, so... And... And this is gives us a lot more experience. I, I would just be wishing that these guys would be actually doing something a little bit more. Actually, you guys, I'd love to send you where you're at. I did send the tanks down here too, but I really don't want to attack in the mountains with tanks, so... And, and look, the French have got a carrier, look at that! Nice! Good! Only a carrier, though, that is... That's not good. So in the meantime... Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, like, this is definitely a strategy I never, ever, ever do. I never, ever, ever, ever start building lots of military factories. I never try to attack France early on. And they're killing our soldiers pretty pretty aggressively. We've already killed off 33,000, which is pretty nice. 37,000 in total, but Yugoslavia requests sales of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslav Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its forces. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover these purchases. A commotion is traveling around Europe looking for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavs have insisted on immediate delivery or transfer of planes directly from the producer. Divider production? Bomber production? We can't spare anything? Well, I don't mind getting maybe some better consumer goods cost for 180 days. You can have some divert bomber production. That is fine with me. Um, oh, also, the focus we're doing is this one right here. So, basically, we're doing our motorization of the army must also be accompanied by a more extensive use of tanks. Most of the ones that we use date from the Great War, so we should try to keep them up to date, as well as I did Canon da 47-32. Designed by Austrian firm Böller, the Canon da 47-32 can be used both to support the infantry and as an anti-tank gun. We should negotiate a license to equip our army with it. We're going down this way because I want that research slot. We gotta get it. Alright, this sucks that they're not attacking us anymore. Well, maybe they still will be. Let's take a look at Germany. Well, their navy obviously is not that great. Actually, oh, they oh, that's a lot of manpower, especially considering the limited conscription. Uh, we might be here for a while. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's nothing really do something that we can do that really fast to get stuff. But to support the army, we must increase the budget allocated to the army. So be it. All I want to make is more guns and just drain them of the resources. I mean, we could just like throw divisions away, like paratroop them into other places, but that'd be a complete waste, you know. We're doing slightly better on guns, about 100 guns a day, which is not bad, but hey, whatever. And with these guys, I wish they were taking the Maginot line, I really wish they were. 
I don't want to involve myself. I do want to spend this time, though, trying to get more planes. First of all, guns, planes, support equipment. Because I want to build up a massive air force. I We really, really, really need a big air force here. Because if we don't have a good air force, we can't take on the Brits. So, and you guys head on down here, too. That's fine. There you go. Good luck. Uh, what are we doing? Fighters, fighters, dive bombers, transports. That's fine. I have quite a few planes. That's all right. They should do less damage. That is really hurting our guys quite a bit. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I did half of you guys. I know it's level 10 forts. Come to these two tiles. Half. And as someone did recommend in my Discord server, uh, take away the super important elite upgrade there. That'd be good. Improve airplane catapults. It's almost 1938. Let's go and grab some more research speed. Thank you. Level 2? Uh, that's still not enough to... Oh, hello. That is not good. Yeah, that's why I put these guys on here. Just because the amount of damage that they're going to receive is uh, quite a bit. Not going to lie. Resource-wise, they're probably not too good up here either, so... Uh, horses, I don't want to send you in here as well, but we might just have to. Yeah, we definitely need more guns, so... We're doing better on guns, though. That's still good. Oh, the French divisions have shown up. Good, 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 good. How many of the enemy have we killed? We've lost 24,000, which is fine. We've killed off 85,000, but it seems like it's probably going to take a while to do. It is what it is. We could grab more fuel, but let's grab some more of this. We need more defense and breakthrough. Yes, please. Support 38. Good, 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 good. Now, I also went to war with Germany just because, well, I don't think the UK was going to guarantee their existence, so. What happens if we pull you out? They're still not going to attack. They don't like level 10 forts, I guess. That's big sadness, man. That's big sadness. Oh, there goes China. Ooh, I should have maybe justified on China so that they, the UK would justify on them as well. Uh, does anyone else go into war with anyone else either? Ace by the promoter. That's good. That's good. We lost 27 versus over 100,000 so far. Not bad. Ace by the promoter is very good. Ooh, look at all the political power. Wowzers. What are we going to do with this stuff? Wait. A collaboration government in Greece? No, 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 we're good. We could seize machine tools in Rhone. That's not bad. We do get more military... Yeah, I, I need military factories. I don't mind doing that. War bonds actually would not be bad either. War propaganda would be pretty nice. Um, let me go and do war bonds. We'll do that. And then... Anything else around here? Political advisors? Quartermasters? Ideological crusade? Backroom backstabber? Whatever. Anything else that helps us with our divisions currently in the field? Submarine? Interception? Capital ship? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, let's come over here and 15% more civilian factory construction speed. 10%. It's not bad. Um, well, we'll do industrial concerns then. That's fine. Build, build everything a little bit faster. Uh, Chinese United Front forms. Okay then. These guys should be learning quite a bit though. Oh my goodness. Ad ah, yes, adaptable. I love that one. That's one of my favorite traits to get. The Poles love attacking too, which is a little surprising, but you know, whatever. If we have to stay here until, basically, the Germans exhaust themselves and the British get involved, so be it. They still have a million manpower, so... It is 38, so we'll probably be here for a while. Then that's actually okay with me, since we can build ourselves up a little bit more, 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 more. Fuel-wise, we're not doing great, but whatever. That's giving our guys a load of experience. And we have way more guns now, which is nice. Well, fewer of a deficit. Much less of a deficit. And I specifically made sure we attack when they're fighting into attacking into mountains which is good yeah i mean they are beating our guys up quite a bit do we have anything else here we're an expert ask ah, we do it anyways do we have enough support equipment no we do not which i want to throw on field hospitals which we desperately desperately need for our divisions but where we're going it shouldn't be too bad actually yeah we're okay on manpower for now you're getting them back in there which is nice just don't lose guys wow that division is not looking good now is it Regardless, uh, ooh, bonus for, oh, more defense, yeah, we gotta do, expand the command, uh, Commando Supremo's role. Uh, that command has a very minor role in relation to the army doc decisions, especially in informing individual commanders of the government's expectations. We should seek to expand both its importance and its memberships. A fifth research slot, I love it. Land doctrine is coming along smoothly. Well, smoothly enough, let's grab some more soft attack. Oh boy, that is not ideal. Head on in, my friends, head on in. 
The German menace must be beat. 37,000 versus 170 some thousand. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, hopefully they're exhausting themselves. They'll probably run out of guns before anything else. They have less than a million. Okay, well, maybe not. Close economy, stockpile, how are they doing? Toyota Air. They're out of infantry equipment, which is good, 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 good. Even though if we capitulate them. Um, honestly, if this is all they have, that's not much. That's really not much. They're gonna run out of equipment before anything else. Oh, very good. Grand assault, don't mind if we do. Infiltration or assault. Now I never know which one to choose. The left side here seems a little bit better if you have motorized. 10% more breakthroughs is really nice though. For the entire army, which is good. The Light Infantry gets more breakthrough, which is really more important than tanks getting breakthrough. And you get more organization. You still get some stuff for tanks, though. Especially recovery rate. Less supply consumption, more land night attack, more organization for infantry. And recon gets more recon. I, I gotta go with infiltration. I just gotta do that, man. I'm sorry. That's the way I gotta go for this campaign. And for this one, you get more breakthrough and organization, which is good. Alright, so you guys are all a giant mess. But you know what? It wouldn't be Hoi 4 if it wasn't a giant mess. Cavalry, go with... Yeah, go with Ambusher. Why not? And we currently get 1.87 political power every day. Not bad. Alright. So, we're doing better on this. Artillery is looking not too bad. And we got some more defense right now. Let's go and grab some more heart attack piercing. No. Let's grab some of this. Winter clothing. Let's get some clothes on our boys. Which sounds very, very weird to say. Material designer. Uh, research speed not bad. Artillery. Well. King of the Belgians sent into exile. What the? A change for the worse for sure. Um. Oh boy. Well, there's nothing really here. 50% for infantry, weapons and equipment. 5% difference for 50 political power. But you also get conversion speed bonus, which is not bad. And exports, uh, military high command. There's really nothing here I really care about. 4% more recovery rate is like nothing to me. Interception defense. That might be better to do for bomber experts. Law enforcement. I prefer order above all. And legal status of women. What do we want from our women? More weekly manpower would not be bad. I don't want her output, though. Recruitable population factor, I don't want to hurt ourselves with that, though. Global order? Eh, that's not really worth it. Let's just go ahead and go with maybe an aircraft designer. Yeah. Improve her planes a little bit more, perhaps. Let's do that one, yeah. Better production costs or just more agility and speed? I like that one. Now, guys, you're not allowed to give up. Ah, oh, Vietnam! I love Vietnam! One of my favorite places to be. Vietnam. Oh, wait. If we go to them... Then the Japanese might want to take that territory back from us. Ooh. In any case, we could see some stuff. I don't really like. Eh. Do it anyways. We could use more military factories. We need more guns, guns, guns. 133 guns a day. Not bad. We've killed off uh, 200,000 Germans, and we will paratroop probably into Vienna or something like that. I'm really disappointed that these guys aren't moving though. Quite disappointed. All right, so guns are completely gone. Anti-air. Well, they're dying with that. How are you guys doing, actually, over here? Well, we don't know. Now, if we try to attack, that wouldn't be very good for us, but hey, as long as they love attacking us, I'm okay with that. Alright, give me that one. Machine toolings. Keep building. Hey, two lines of 15 is not bad. It's still March 30, 1938. Uh, the diverted. Oh, we lost some more consumer goods. That sucks. Maybe? Maybe not. I'm assuming that these guys... Wow, oh, skill level 7. Holy cow. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! Look at those German boys. They ain't feeling too good. Oh, they actually pushed us in. I didn't realize that. Ah, oh, French state. Yes. I'll take whatever you got for us. Yeah, those guys not looking good at all. Oh, I mean, don't get us wrong. We lost 65,000. They lost a quarter million. It's a lot of dead guys, not gonna lie. Hopefully the French can make a few more divisions than this. Develop into... Yeah, develop into China. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, man. Yeah. More infrastructure, civilian factories. Got some ammunition in 1938. Great stuff. Attack and piercing. Let's grab better recovery rate, maybe. Yes, maybe. All right. Excavation. Nice. Ooh, synthetic recovery plants would be really good. Radar would be really nice as well. Not super necessary right now, but since we have a lot of air stuff, I would like some casts. Are we making torpedo bombers, medium bombers? Which one are we making? Tactical bombers, light tanks, dive bombers. Uh, yeah, let's go with some better dive bombers eventually. Armor. Yeah, we gotta go with this one. So you guys say you can win. I don't believe you. Just saying. 
I really don't believe them. Oh, fighter competition. Now, the Yugoslav Air Force is currently holding trials for a new flight fighter, according to our attaché. Our newest models of poised to win. A formal request from the Yugoslav government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are, strong in favor, are strongly in favor of the sale, but they, there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit the sale to go through? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, uh. Nah, I don't care. Can't take risks with those Yugoslavians, man. We could get more rubber, but that costs, over that time, three civilian factories, in which I could just use one to buy more rubber, so... I'd rather just pay someone for that. Almost 300,000 losses for them. Not enough. Good, good, good. And as they're attacking, they're losing all their artillery, all their equipment. The most important stuff. Alright, next up, we shall do... Stab in the back. Well, that doesn't help us at all right now. I prefer to do this. The war positions. We've proven the effectiveness of the ground infantry would be an excellent compromise between improving our offensive and defensive capabilities. More entrenchment speed and more defense? Well, I think more defense right now would be a delightful little thing to have. Oh man, they're taking quite a bit of attrition. Well, if they're attacking, of course. Do you have any upgrades, sir? Oh, yeah, it's logistics. That's good. Now, we got to poise our tanks correctly just so that we can break out into the mountains more. Oh god, no. Uh, if anything, I would like to attack here, but even the poles aren't doing too badly yet. Hmm. Yeah, using these guys to attack in the mountains is not good. Wow, they're all veterans. So you guys are like 20 combat width, uh, which is not bad. So you... Can I convert you to a mountaineer? No, I cannot. God dang it. Are we getting naval invaded? I thought I heard that for some reason. But we're not. That's good. Yeah, they're attacking like a bunch of crazies. A third of a million, basically. I'm going to create an intelligence agency. I like this one. That looks really cool. Now, if I were to attack, we would not be doing very well. So, instead, you guys are going to hold the line, barely. And you guys come over here. You shall be led by Vittorio. Do, 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 do. More planning. More artillery attack. I'm going to concentrate you guys right here, and we're going to try to bust our way through here. This feels like it's going to be... What the heck? No, 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 no. Don't go that way. Do not go that way. The... What was the battle in World War One That Ital Italy tried like 12 times to win a war against Austro-Hungarians over here? I can't remember. I can't remember that. But it was like... At the 12th battle, they finally won. The Austro-Hungarians beat them. I can't remember something like that. Ugh. What a mess. Izono? I think it was the Battle of the Izono. Look at their guns. Looking so much better. Artillery's looking better. Support equipment's looking better. Transport planes, not so much, but hey, whatever. German Reich claims Mamel. Another batch of maps made obsolete. Well, they should have just fought them off. You know, it's just the Axis. It's a big old Axis, that's all. Oh, there it goes. You just saw the aircraft purchase. That sucks, whatever. Ace pilot promoted. Good for you. Well, that's not looking too good, now is it? You can go ahead and help out if you want to. Shot done by Bubble Bee. Well, that sucks. Devastating loss for us all. Alright, boys. You, you poised to win? Hope so. Yeah, that is a bit extreme, I would say. Go right on ahead. You should be able to win. Hope so. You should be able to win if they're that weak over there. They already have air superiority, though, which really sucks. Because we have, like, no planes left. Hmm. Good. I'm doing this just because we need an intelligence officer. So we can figure out what's going on in Poland and such. How are we not winning? That makes literally no sense. You know what? Screw it then. If you're not going to win, then don't do anything. Uh, we could try naval invasion, actually. That might not be bad. Alright, come on, guys, come on up here. We have no planes. That is true. Uh, let's see. What other strategies do we have? Put you right there. You guys, go ahead and do this. Put yourselves in the channel up here. You guys do the same thing. We're going to concentrate our forces up there. We're going to buy some more fuel because we definitely, 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 definitely need more fuel. I love the Soviet Union. There you go. That should definitely help out. Alright, so let the guys get a little weaker. Let force you guys to move. Totally fine with me. Let them drain themselves over here so they have no more reinforcements to uh, use. And we'll get that stuff done. Winter clothing is very nice to have. And we should go ahead and do some of this. Aircraft designer, light aircraft, thank you. It's still 1938, which is fine with me. Special Forces, meh, it's not really going to help us out much up, much at all. 
Go with and field anti vehicle kits. And I will slowly pull more soldiers away from here. As long as they want to keep killing themselves, that's fine with me. Good. Quit any movement. Awesome. What else do we got around here? Who's operating these ships? Computing machine is nice. Iron size. Do you have any upgrades, dude? No. Computing machine is nice. Uh, radar would be pretty beneficial as well, but field hospitals, I would like that, but we could probably wait. Eh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Eh, grab some synthetic oil experiments. That'd be good. Let's grab some more fuel. There you go. More divisions. No, that's not uh, quite the one I wanted. Resolve of the lack of NCOs. NCOs are the backbone of any army, and our divisions are severely lacking in them. Efforts will be remade or made to recruit them in order to have a quality command. Better reinforce rate, more max planning. Could be worse. Alright, in this case. You guys will be doing fine. Uh, just in case, I'll send in the Ethiopians. They should do fine, right? So you guys are going to invade Germany, which might actually be a really bad idea, but hey, you know what? we got to try it somehow, some way, right? Can I actually get over there? I'm not sure they can. Hamburg would actually be really good to get. Mm -hmm. We do one, two, three. Try to steal the Kiel Canal. Oh man, that'd be kind of wild. We might be able to get Wilhelmshaven actually. That would be actually really, really good to get, if possible. Now this goes poorly. You'll see me fade in, fade out, perhaps. So. So we're going to go right there. You guys are going to take Bremen just in case. Actually, you're going to take all three of these. And then you... One, two, three... Go right here. And... Wait, why can't you invade right... Em Emden. That doesn't make any sense. Um, well, we're going to land attacks all over the place here. Followed up with... Oh, crap. Do we not have... Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Hold on, let me try, try a different one. Oh, okay, so this is weird. Now, for some reason, it didn't, it didn't do it, so, okay, whatever. One, two, uh, I don't want to send my own boys in, but whatever. If they have to be different naval ports, that's fine. So, we got one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to try to go for that one right there. Actually, is that the tile of the port? It is the tile of the port. Good luck, boys. Uh, I don't want to send anyone else in there, but, you know, if we have to, we have to. Yeah, let you guys continually get attacked. That's fine with me. We're doing okay with that. There's your slot. Let's grab some of this. Thank you. All right, next up, we shall grab you. Intel counterintelligence, not bad. Infiltration risk. Eh, I want to use use you for infiltration risk. Uh, we could do that against these people, but they keep attacking us, which is fine. Oh, the Germans. Oh, Germans never change. Or just the AI, really. It's not even the Germans. All right. We're still going to need even more fuel. So much fuel is needed for this. Romania? Any more fuel for us? Maybe? Maybe not? Yes? Yes, no? If that's a case, I'm going to go ahead and do this. North Sea as well. Let's see what happens. I should actually probably do our land doctrine. Or naval doctrine, I should say. Now, we do have our general... General. Our admiral does have quite a bit of experience dealing with naval issues. Wow, that looks really, really bad. Combine you two together, but really split you guys in half. There you go. That's a little better. I wonder if this will be actually... Actually, hold on. Here's what we can do. Just in case this goes poorly, I could always uh, do something else. But, since we're here... Actually, since you're here, you must... Can you just pair drop onto them? Oh, no, you don't have enough range. That's fine. You guys... Uh, all of you guys go up here, then. That's fine. Man, we were getting our planes destroyed. Woo! Just kind of hang out. Have a good time. All right, paratroopers. I'm going to land half you guys right here. And you guys go to Wilhelmshaven. And then half you guys go from the same place all the way up to uh, Hamburg, maybe. Or Kiel of Hamburg. Hmm. Emden might not be bad. Actually, if we take out the airbase here, that could be kind of beneficial for us. Um, ooh, actually, one, two, well, one, two, three, four. Now, hold on, before I click on anything else, let's take a look at that. So, does this connect to Wilhelmshaven? It might not. If we could completely get rid of Wilhelmshaven, well, let's try that one. So, you, parachute, they're 10 combat width, so they do have a little bit of strength. 
Not a lot, especially once I land. And then you go to here. Go right there. We're going to cut Wilhelm's off and off. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Three. And then, bingerino, ba 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 and go right there. Now, that might just be enough. It looks like it should be enough to cut these guys off, but I could be completely wrong. Oh, convoys. Ah, oh, Polish convoys. Good. Don't make me start pulling divisions off so you guys will continue to attack. I mean, the Germans are still attacking, which is good. Okay, I hate how much fuel that we need for these ships. Oh, so thirsty. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, I don't want to trade overseas, so give me British Malaya as well. There you go. That should definitely help us out. Desert and jungle clothing. 39. And someone else can't give me my stuff. Are you kidding me already? Let's go ahead and grab... Actually, wouldn't be bad to grab that, but it's a little bit ahead of time. Firefighting drills. Oh my goodness. Soviet Union. Please. Guys. And do... do da, da, da. Ah, screw it. USA. They're still attacking. I mean, they're attacking like a bunch of crazies, and I love it, but still. Could you actually take your tiles back? That'd be kind of nice. I mean, we need some some support to attack, but still. Any more upgrades? You guys are all veterans, which is nice. Move a little bit faster if you can. Did you actually win here? See, at least take back your own tile. That'd be kind of nice. And we might not be able to pierce them, but... Honduran Commonwealth join the common turn. Okay. Alright, let's see how prepared are you? Well, even if we wanted to go, we don't have enough naval supremacy. Are you kidding me? If that's the case, I'm going to have you guys stop doing that. And go ahead. Infantry offensives. And we'll go with armored operations. British Malia. God dang it. Well. So be it. Well, everyone, here we are in my March 2nd, 1939. Apparently, Germany just went to war with the Kingdom of Denmark. Uh, yeah, okay, German interest in Scandinavia. We must consider all of our options. And let's talk about our focuses we're currently doing. Bring industry to the Mezzogiorno. Uh, the southern region of Italy has always been behind in terms of industrialization. Most of its inhabitants being farmers, it is time to bring the south to a level equal to the north in terms of industry. Well, we already did one of these uh, to solve our electricity problems, particularly because of our lack of coal. We've had dam construction programs in place for several years to build dams used for hydroelectric power generation. And I've also done, as well, between La Spezia and Livorno stand the Alpuan Alps, containing very large quantities of marble. What is Carrera or Seva uh, Seraveza marble? Veined with blue or black, marble remains one of our main exports. So that was pretty good industrial stuff. Right now we're doing actually better on fuel. Casualties, here we go. Um, oh, actually, no, oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, the faction-wise, the Danes are allied with these guys, which is good for us. Of course, Poland joined the Axis. We've lost quite a few guys. They've lost... A lot of guys, but they don't give up for some reason. It is what it is. And also, Mexico joined the war. So, edge road to 56. What do you expect? Actually, hold on. Since we're not really doing too much here. Hey, if the Northern Alliance want to kill these guys off, that is that is perfect with me. I will gladly give you what you want. Actually, I'll... Oh. Invite to faction request. Um... So they did go fascist. And then this is a United Mexican States. I'm thinking more of a democracy. And actually, we were able to push them through here, too. That's kind of nice. Uh, uh, Northern Lights? I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Actually, I was thinking about going to war with Belgium as well. But actually, I just realized that we could probably attack through the Maginot here. So, yeah, we might actually try that. Especially since, well, Germany is on basically a two-front war. Thank God they went to war with these guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, that's fine with me. If we have to give them territory, so be it. Mm, uh, mm. Actually, you know what? What if? Hmm, I'm thinking I give them all of Poland, I take all of Germany. Would that work? Yeah, these guys are really weak. Holy crap. Uh, you guys, how are you guys looking at? Mm, I should have realized this before. And this is my second attempt doing this, so... Yeah, you don't, you don't see all the attempts I do when making these videos. It's the reason why I fade in, fade out. Because sometimes my attempts at things don't go according to plan. A lot of the time, especially for Road to 56, they don't. That's why I don't play too often. Oh, do they actually have an upgrade? Oh, a danceable, yes, please. Did we already do that before? I, I might have. Brazilian operative capture? Well, that's not good. Um, anything else around here? Oh, we got a lot of political power. I'm going to go ahead and choose... Actually, come over here. Order above all. I don't want any strikes. Less damage garrisons. That's extremely important to me. 
Um, up after that, we don't need more aluminum. Ooh, Tramutola oil field. Why not? I don't think that's a very weird number of political power. Seven? Okay. We do need to go to war with Belgium as well, but they went communist, which is very weird, but whatever. And these guys are struggling on that front. They actually gave up some territory. Thank goodness for the Dutch. So, Mr. Schmidtler. We got enough manpower, but... Oh, we don't have enough stuff. Oh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we can't see what they're up to. I would love to be able to attack here, but I kind of don't think we will be able to. Their tanks are in the mountains. What has that stopped me before? Okay, then. I'll take it. And they probably divided their air force, too, right? Oh, no. We're out of planes. Well, god dang it. Infiltration attempts, and then we'll show you some night assault tactics. Um... Okay. If I justify on you, will that make the UK justify an aid? Are they going to Ooh, securing Belgium? Okay. Now, that's something I was not expecting. No. The, they're, no, they're not doing anything. Hmm. What have I done on these guys? If I just find... Oh, I can't do that. I have oh, God dang it. I have an back. God dang it. I want to see if I can, like, me my way to making sure that people, you know, fight each other. Uh, let's see. You guys go there. You guys go there. Leaving that division there is probably not a smart idea. But, hey, if they help us capitulate these guys, I'm totally okay with that. Okay, so if you guys can actually win here, that'd actually be very, very good for us. So, if you attack, attack, attack. And if we actually did this instead, because so, we are still making some more paratroopers. We go from here. Can we grab Essen? I'm a little scared to do this. I'm not scared, but apprehensive. Uh, wait, did it not work? You go from here. Listen. There you go. Didn't work last time. I'm not sure why. Oh, maybe I chose to click on the wrong button there. Bitburg. Follow it up with this one to attack Dortmund. Just because I would really, really, really like to take out the victory points as well as their air bases. Because I believe all we need to do is take out... Germany, and they should capitulate, if I remember correctly. We can't get to Berlin, that's fine, whatever. Um, I don't want to sacrifice, I don't want these guys to die, to be honest with you guys. So, you guys can go right there, that should be okay. And then you guys, we're going to try to form a snake. One, two, three, Cone shall be the one we grab. Obviously we're not going to win over here, but whatever. Three, two, one, go ahead! We've taken Dortmund, well, maybe not Dortmund yet. Head on down, link up, link up with everybody here. Good job, guys. I love pair dropping. Why have we not pair dropped over there? The Yugoslavians have joined. God dang it. <laughs> come on, we should be there. Oh, come on, we should be there already. That's so dumb. There you go. We need that. Guys, seriously, go, 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 go. I don't want to. Sac don't sacrifice yourselves. No. I don't think there's very much we can do about this. At this point, I don't think the Germans can hold. Thank God they went toward Denmark. Bring industry to the mezzo, whatever it is. And we'll prepare the economy for war. We are far behind the other nations of Europe in terms of military production due to our already rather weak industrialization only concentrated from the north. Major economic efforts will have to be made to achieve a sufficient level of production and properly supply the army. At this point, I can't imagine these guys doing that well. So if you guys get forced, go ahead. Oh, you know, oh my goodness, you've been here for so long. You have no planning, do you? Could you just attack and win? Yes, you could. Awesome. They're weak enough that this will be okay. Please don't lose these guys. Come on. No, oh, we lost them. Ah, no. How dare you. I will not be kind to the Germans. You know what? If Mexico's at war with us, and that's all we have to capitulate, I won't take Poland and Germany. You know what? The Scandinavian countries can have Mexico. I think that's a fair trade. Not really, but, you know, I think I think it'll suffice. Seeing as we did do, like, 73% of all war score. And they get to go to joyous Mexico. Who doesn't want Mexico? I prefer Germany. Oh, we do need to take out these guys, too, though. Um, just in case... Uh, it's only 10 days. Might as well. Chief of the Air Force, we're going to grab. Air experience gain. Each generation chance. It's only 5%. Bad weather penalty. Alright, so at this point, I don't think the Germans can really handle too much more. But I could be completely wrong. I forgot about you guys, too. Whoopsie. Because I want to have Germany as a puppet and take the Austrian lands. 
Oh wow, we lost a lot of guys, didn't we? Hold and go, 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 go. Everyone's gotta go. We've got a lot of dates. Heavy dates. And not talking about relationships, but a lot of places to be, like Vienna. Okay, seriously, why'd you guys stop? Very good, very good, very good. Keep moving in, keep moving in. Uh, sure, you can have that. Oh, man. We've lost quite a few guys. They've lost a lot of guys, though. Holy crap. Uh, uh, I don't want to go to war with them yet. Oh, look at that. We sunk four ships. Nice. Peace conference is over. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, how's the war in Asia going? Well, look at that. The Germans, I, they just kept attacking and attacking and attacking. They have nothing but planes, don't they? Uh, well, now, oh, now we can see. Yeah, they have nothing but planes still. Okay. The UK is very aggressive in this timeline. So be it. I did say I wanted to... Oh, we can cut these guys off. That'd be good. But I did say I wanted... Of course. Of course. So now to form... The, now if we want to form Rome, we got to take out the common turn. Which could be worse, actually. I'm glad I didn't go to war with them. Let the allies... Or, oh, God. Oh, boy. This is going to be a messy, messy campaign. The common turn versus the allies. America might get pulled in. Ooh. Uh, carriers. Uh... We'll go with that one. It is 1939, so... Construction speed, yes, please. Because after this, I, we've got to build the biggest air force known to man. Go and do this. It stays a little bit on steel, even though we don't need, really need to do that. Torpedo bombers looking not too bad. Make sure we got the best planes. Yes! Or artillery, yes, please. Oh, look, encirclements. Nice! Thank God they went to war with the Danes. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Because, I mean, we can still take them out. But that helped us out. I, I just... Whenever I saw the... The Rhineland, I'm like, oh, is that... Can we take that out? Maybe, maybe not. This first industry is good. Grab some more cap. That'd be nice. Maybe lose 300,000 soldiers, so be it. That's fine with me. 80% still. Not bad. Anything here? Littoral class. We can grab probably one of these. Ooh, actually, we have enough... How do we get more rubber? You know what? I'm not going to question it. We'll probably do some extraction. Good. Build, build, build. At this point, one solid front line against these uh, evil Nazis. There you go. And you guys just do what you're doing. You guys are doing fine. And the poles. The poles. Evil poles, man. Actually, depending on how close we are, we might actually just be able to... Uh, actually, do this one. Uh, put, capitulate these guys. Uh, head on over here, maybe? It's going to be very risky. You guys come here. Invade Berlin. Once they're low enough, well, we should do okay. The best bet for us, if we had to really had to take out the common turn, which I'm totally okay with, I was planning on taking them out anyways, would be for us to do it when they go to war with these Northern Lights, the Scandinavians. So, that will happen eventually, so that's probably the best time to do it. God dang it, I want to take out the Allies before that, but whatever. Yeah, Germany, come on, give up, give up, give up, give up. At this point, uh, we got spread, up, spread the share the love, spread the love. We got another destroy, which is nice. Do we have any more upgrades? Our guys did pretty darn well, I'd say. No, that sucks. All right. Uh, how much closer are they? Are they any closer? Not really. No. I mean, they should be completely okay. Oh, well, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Oh, the Kurds have arrived. Infantry expert, thank you. And you know what really sucks? Not having air super superiority. I don't have to check. I know we don't have air superiority. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Five subs. Republic of Columbia proclaims Grand Colombian ambitions. All right, then. Come on. They should already be dead by now. I mean, seriously. The Poles, too? Come on. Come on, Poles. Uh, just in case. Put a lot of dive bombers here. How many allies are in here? Let's see. Uh, South Africa, Nepal, Canada. Oh, man. We're just not ready yet for that. Uh, metal, we're doing okay on that. Infrastructure would not be bad, actually. Let's grab some infrastructure. Why not? Efforts to improve the roads connecting the north and south would benefit both. Very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, they're getting pushed out. That's not good. You guys head over there, and then you guys head on over to here. 
Yeah, the Swedes just got pushed out, pretty much. That sucks. Okay, Bulgaria's in a civil war. Good luck, Bulgaria. We've got a thousand army XP. Holy bad words. Good, good, good. Go ahead. Don't be clear on Ecuador. We have Berlin. That's still not enough to capitulate them. God dang it. I followed Berlin. Oh crap, what's going on? They joined. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Defensil. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so I guess technically the USA has been called into this war. Oh, please be able to rescue our soldiers. Please, for the love of God. I know this is messy. This is not very smart to do, but whatever. We've lost about 300,000 soldiers, which I kind of figured would happen. Don't make me lose these soldiers for no reason, god dang it. You actually should be able to hold out here, actually. God dang, when the when you think... <sighs> Guatemala. Come on, Guatemala. Please, seriously. Seriously, how are they able to do this still? They have 50 divisions. And they still have nothing here. Still have nothing. You're, you you got to hold out, man. It's the Poles. The Poles are defending, uh, defending Germany better than Germany is right now. Go, 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 go. I refuse to lose these soldiers. Sure, you want all on aggression packs? That's fine with me. If I can pit um, the U.S. against um, the U.K., that'd be pretty good for us. Alright, this has turned into a giant mess. But we wouldn't want it any other way. We've saved the paratroopers. Oh my goodness, we actually did it. Alright, so from here, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to pair drop, hopefully, and do okay. Yeah, race down here and pair drop into Breslau, which is an important industrial sector, if I remember correctly. And come down here. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not giving these guys anything. I I've got to take Germany and Poland, because, well, that's all I wanted, really, to begin with. Uh, Wilhelmshaven would be good to get, probably, even though... Oh, that's not Wilhelmshaven. Go right there. And double up on Hamburg, just because we got to take it. Now, I mean, we're sinking convoys. We're sinking them. Go, subby boys. Go, 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 go. Soldiers should be doing pretty well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, is a giant mess. How, how have we not won? Okay, Poland. How are you not dead yet? You literally have nothing there. You literally have no more guns. I don't understand how they're not de dead. Go when you can. We gotta take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Come on. Wait, where are the soldiers? Oh, you're so... Oh, god dang it. Where are the tanks? Come on. Stop moving so slowly. Oh, they, they actually invaded Belgium. No, UK. No. Oh, man. This is why I don't like doing this. That's why I never formed Rome on this channel before, with the Roman Empire. Come on, come on, get over there. They're coming back, they're coming back. Oh, please do that. Please take them out, please take them out. And so go and destroy it. I hate the Poles now so much. They're just as bad as the Nazis. Which is something I thought I would never say. <laughs> Good. Okay, seriously, what is going on? Oh, they don't have air superiority. How do they not have air superiority? Hello? They do. And that's all we needed. No, nope, nope, that was just Belgium. I mean, Bulgaria. Whatever. Come on, come on, come on. They're so close. Oh, I could almost taste them. Which sounds really disgusting. Sweaty Germans? No, thank you. I'm not interested in sweaty Germans. There goes the right. Oh, we got them. Sweet. So, even though there's a couple comments from yesterday, such as for me to take Corsica, I didn't take that or Savoy just because we actually don't have cores on that territory, which really sucks and it's kind of stupid. It kind of makes sense, but regardless. Other comments said we should use mercenaries. I'm not sure how to use mercenaries. Can we buy mercenaries? And someone said it would be better if we had special division names. Well, if you'd like uh, recommending some names, like special names for paratroopers, let me know in the comments below. But regardless, I'm going to do the piece like I did at the end of last episode so we can figure things out. Uh, regardless, if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will probably end up either going to war with the Allies or the Comintern. I don't know. It's, it's not easy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.